Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic and this is my semi-final preview and predictions video. We've got Silse versus RTSD and Darun versus Ornan, um, France versus England and Canada versus America, so that's pretty cool. You know, we've got four different races and two tier one races, two tier two races. Um, so yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty, pretty exciting down the nitty gritty. Everyone's got at least one thousand dollars at this stage. First place is three thousand dollars plus a gaming PC and stuff. So it's all very good. And uh, yeah, the games will be played today. The first one's at fourteen thirty UTC, uh, which is half three p.m. in the UK and half four in in Europe. Um, I will be casting both games live on Twitch and doing the replays on YouTube. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at the coaches and the teams and the matchups. So first up, it's Silse versus RTSD. Silse with the undead here. Um, Silse hasn't played very, very much at all in Champs Ladder, so you can't draw too many conclusions from his record in there. He is 58% with undead. Um, he qualified from Franco Ball and is French. Um, he's beaten three human teams and an undead team to get here. Including Fella Hoppier, who was one of my favourites for the tournament. So you know he's 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 had a definitely had a good run. Um, he's he's taken guard for his skill on the mummy there, which is you know pretty much what everyone's going to do here at this stage, I think. So he's got two super mummies block guard, and it, this is so this is basically like what you'd normally find in a tabletop tournament plus two blocks on the mummies, which is pretty good, isn't it? To be fair, it is. It is pretty good. It means he can block a lot with the mummies and feel quite happy about doing it. It does mean that maybe he doesn't get as much value from his rerolls, but um, it you know undead are a tournament staple in tabletop, and this is a very good undead team. And RTSD is is playing Silse. RTSD doesn't play in Champs Ladder at all. Hasn't played one game. So you know it's interesting. There's two people who basically don't play in Champs Ladder in the semi final. RTSD qualified from UKBBL, and he's British. He uh, he beat two necromantic teams, a human team, and a lizardman team on his way to the semi-finals, including beating the defending champ Guinness in the quarterfinals. So that's quite a scalp, isn't it? And uh, yeah, he's taken he's taken the guard on the fleshy there, as, as he kind of had to. So now both teams have three guard players. Um, the difference is, of course, Silsi has four ghouls, two of which are block. Both of both of RTSD's ghouls are unprotected, but um, RTSD does get um, the claw palm. And really, you know, you can't really do predictions here. I mean, I, I got all four wrong in the quarterfinals <laughs> because, you know, at, at this level, you're basically just betting on who's going to be luckier, uh, pretty much. Uh, pretty much the luckiest player won in every single quarterfinal, and that's not disrespecting them. It's just a fact you can look at the uh, armor breaks on each side, and, and you know, it's... It just is what it is, isn't it? You know that's that's what happens when people are people are good, and really, again, this is this is just going to come down to if the claw pump fires, um, you know, and 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 just like just like his quarterfinal versus Guinness, I'm going to say that if it doesn't or if it's not ridiculous, the benefit goes to the the, the guy with a better team, and obviously, Silse's team is better. If the claw pump isn't dominant, isn't dominating, then having strength five block guard guys is better. With mighty blow is better than having strength four block guard guys. So um, yeah, that's the difference maker. You know, that's, that's the difference maker right there. Is if this claw pom works, um, works wonders. If it doesn't, it's going to be a hard time. If it does, it's going to be an easy time. Uh, but yeah, I'm, again, I'm going to have to stick with the balance of probabilities and and go for Silse. And the second semi final is Darun versus Ornan. Um, Darun has played over a thousand games in Champs Ladder, over 300 with Orcs. He's got a 64% win rate with Orcs. He qualified from ICBBL and is Canadian. Um, he qualified from PC, but he does mostly play on PS4. He identifies as a PS4 coach. Um, he's taken Mighty Blow here on this Blitzer, which is an interesting choice. He's actually beaten an Amazon team, two Wood Elves, and a Chaos Dwarf team. So. He's you know he's fought three AV7 teams on his way here and, and absolutely battered them all. 
And um, the, the two Wood Elves, interestingly, both had win rates of over 70% in Champs Ladder, Wentros and Wolf Bainson. So that's two, you know, clearly very good coaches he's beaten on, on the way in. And yeah, he's, he's defied the odds a bit so far on this run. But, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of the mighty blow here. Um, Ornan has, has a you know, decent amount of guard being humans. I for sure would have taken guard on this blitzer. Uh, but you know that, that's fair enough. He's he's used to beating up armor seven, so now with with more mighty blow, it gives him more chance to beat up armor eight. Onan also has thirteen players, so I, I yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of this mighty blow choice. I would have hundred percent taken guard, um, but you know it's it's fair enough, isn't it? it? Again, it's like guard is the consistent choice, and mighty blow is the kind of try to get lucky choice. And yeah, consistency probably doesn't really win you many prizes in in the World Cup. You know, you've got to. You've got to get have a bit of luck to 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 win the whole thing, you know. Even to get the semi-finals, you've got to be lucky, really. There's there's plenty of there's plenty of good players, so um, yeah, it, it's not what I would have done, but that's not to say it's bad. Um, and yeah, four guard, two mighty blow. He's orcs. He's got loads of armor, nine loads of strength. It's a very good team. And here is Onan's team. Um, Onan has has. Has played about 300 games in Champs Ladder with a 65% win rate, and he's qualified from Reddit Blood Bowl League Rebel. Um, he's American. He's he's beaten two Wood Elf teams, an Amazon team and a Human team on the, on the way in. He beat me with one of the Wood Elf teams, and he beat Andre, who was the 2010 Blood Bowl One champion, world champion. So you know he's 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 beaten some good players, um, and you know. Played a variety of teams, really. Uh, well, no, still mostly Armour 7. So now this is the only Bash team that he's up, been up against, really, with uh, Durun's Orcs. He does outguard him. He's got 5 guard, thanks to picking up guard in this Blitzer. Um, again, this is why I would have definitely taken guard if I was Durun. Um, I don't like being down guard in a Bash mirror. But, you know, he's, and he's got the Pom as well. He's, so he's, I guess, Durun took the Mighty Blow, so he'd have at least as much Mighty Blow, but... Onan's got the mighty blow, and he's got the mighty blow piling on. Now, this isn't so good against Orcs Armour 9, is it? It's been great for him so far, because he's played Armour 7 three times, and Armour 8 once. So the POM has been great for him so far, but... You know, Orcs could be his kryptonite, really. Uh, this is unlikely to be... This is... Piling on's likely to be a wasted skill in this matchup. Um, and also, he's got two tackle because of the nature of his draw. He had to, he had to take the second tackle, really, to make sure of beating the Amazons. So, um, yeah, I think it's it's a weird one because he does have more guard despite basically being down two skills and almost potentially down a third skill because he's not going to get that much chance to pile on on an average day <laughs> against Orcs. Now, of course, he may be lucky and, and absolutely smash him to pieces with his palm still, you know. This is the problem with Orcs. And if he is, Orcs really struggle. Um, I really didn't like his build of thirteen players dropping the app, uh, dropping the reroll, but it's it's worked out for him, you know, um, and it does give him a bit more consistency, especially in the bash mirror. But yeah, you know, I I think I've got to back to run just because it's orcs versus humans. You know, if I was orcs versus humans, I would feel very 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 confident of beating them every single time. Now I don't beat them every single time, but. You know, and they've got the movement eight catchers. They they can do things. The humans can definitely do things, but it feels horrible. Humans against orcs. You know, an absolutely horrible matchup. Um, purely on races. Yes, the humans have got a few more skills, but they've also kind of wasted skills with tackle. So, uh, you know, again, I'm just trying to pick on the teams rather than you know, so I'm not biased or or offensive to anybody with the coaching. So purely on teams, I'm going to back to run to win his semi final. So there are my picks, the, the two tier one races, funnily enough, you know, as you would kind of expect by this stage, you know, in the first round, the, the, the tier one teams only getting four skills versus six skills from the tier two was a real disadvantage. And it was also a big disadvantage to like um, Necro and Lizardmen and Orcs that you would normally see more better representation from and Dark Elves. Um, you know, four skills really limited them, which is why there were so many Wood Elves, because people who wanted to Tier 1 team are going to take the, the, the Tier 1 team that only needs three skills to do its job. Um, and humans benefited the most from six skills, which is why you saw loads of humans. 
so yeah i think it's it's very exciting isn't it and uh not long to go and again i will be broadcasting them all on twitch and doing all the replays for youtube so thanks for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic